Those that can't use wireless Bluetooth configuration, or prefer not to, can use Zim4's wire configuration mode. This is an offline mode of the configuration. You must attach your Zim4 from your console and plug it into your PC to use this mode. This means you can't preview every aspect of your config instantaneously while in game. However, you can still modify the most common settings of your config while you play. We will go over that later. Here I am with my PlayStation 4. My Zim4 is connected to it. I like to play Battlefield 4, so let's add a config for it to my Zim4. Unplug your Zim4 from your console and make sure to keep all your peripherals connected. I'm going to plug my Zim4 into my PC and while my Zim4 displays the rainbow startup sequence, I'm going to press the P button on the back. This tells Zim4 to enter wired configuration mode. My Zim4 will flash red quickly and enter wired configuration mode. Here is what that looks like. I'm now plugging my Zim4 into my PC. It's displaying the startup sequence. I'm pressing P. The red lights flashed and now it's initializing. My Zim4 is now connected to my PC. If this is the first time you are connecting your Zim4 to a PC, make sure to wait for your PC to finish detecting Zim4. You'll hear Windows USB chime when it's ready. Now run Zim4 Manager. Let's add a config for Battlefield 4. Selecting Battlefield 4 for my PlayStation 4. It's now being loaded onto my Zim. Please refer to the Editing Zim4 Configs instructional video for an in-depth look of how to use Zim4 Manager to edit configs. You can edit and bind keys in offline mode just like you can in wireless mode. Notice my Zim4 flashing white and accepting the changes. Since your Zim4 is connected to your PC and not your console, changes are, of course, not reflected immediately in game. You can configure everything about your config while offline, but it's best to set your sensitivity and your buttons while in game. This can be done using on-the-fly editing. When you are done, close the app and replug your Zim4 into your console. Zim4 provides a way to change a config without using Zim4 Manager. Although limited, it is convenient if you want to make quick on-the-fly adjustments to key config values. When Zim4 is in this mode, you can use your controller to update your hip and aim down sight sensitivity as well as your button bindings. Your mouse and keyboard will continue to stay active so that you can quickly preview changes until your optimal settings are found. To enter this mode, you press two buttons on your controller at the same time. For PlayStation 4, you press touch, click, and options at the same time. For Xbox One, you press menu and view at the same time. I'm going to demonstrate with PlayStation 4. I'm going to press touch, click, and options at the same time, quickly. When in on-the-fly config mode, your Zim4 displays two rapid pulses over and over like it is right now. To exit this mode, press the same two buttons you pressed to enter. Your changes will then be saved. Use your controller's D-pad up to increase aiming sensitivity. As it's increased, your Zim4 will display yellow lights. Likewise, use your D-pad down to decrease aiming sensitivity. This affects hip aiming. I'm moving my mouse right now. To make sensitivity higher, press the up D-pad. Notice yellow lights blinking. My sensitivity is higher. Press down to decrease hip sensitivity. It's now very low. I'll increase it again. Similarly, to adjust aim down sight, you press D-pad right and D-pad left. D-pad right to increase ADS sensitivity, D-pad left to decrease ADS sensitivity. So I'm ADSing right now. Press D-pad right. Notice the green pulses. Hip displayed yellow pulses. 
ADS displays green pulses. As I press left, my ADS is decreasing all the way to zero. I'm going to press right again and it will increase. Continue to do this until you find your preferred settings. To enter button binding mode, press the PS button on your PlayStation controller or the guide button on your Xbox controller. Upon entering button binding mode, your Zim4 will display magenta cyan pulse. Once you have entered button binding mode, you cannot exit back to sensitivity editing mode. You'll need to exit on the fly config mode instead. At this point, you can now bind buttons. To start, press any button on your controller. Zim4 will acknowledge your controller button selection by displaying a magenta pulse. For example, X for jump. Now, press any button on your mouse, keyboard, or game board. That button will now be bound to the controller button you choose. Zim4 will acknowledge the binding by displaying a cyan pulse. Repeat this process until you mapped all the buttons you want. Change weapon. Fire. Reload. If you can't remember what a particular control button does in game, simply press and hold the button and Zimful will allow it to pass through. When you're done, exit out on, on the fly config mode. Your config is now saved.